Hey guys, my name is Miranda, welcome to my universe, and today I'm going to be reading The Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein, and then I'm going to be watching the movie that's coming out soon. Um, today is actually Wednesday the 7th. I know I originally was going to do this vlog on the 8th, and then watch the movie on the 9th, but here's the thing guys, I'm actually going to be having a binge session of Vampire Diaries with one of my best friends Jenna tomorrow, so like, I won't be reading, okay? I'll just be watching vampires all day, so sorry not sorry. But I am going to hopefully finish this book today. I'm really excited. I heard a lot of good things about this book. I actually, fun fact about Miranda, I tried to read this book when I was younger a few years ago and it didn't work for me. But then my aunt actually gave this to me like a few weeks ago. Um, so I'm like, okay, it obviously is in my possession once again for a reason, so I gotta read it. So this whole video is going to be spoiler free for those of you who are worried about that. For the most part, I'm going to talk about my feelings about the book, and then when I see the movie, I'll talk about my feelings about the movie and compare both of them. So I'm really excited. So I'm gonna start reading this and I will let you guys know how I feel throughout the day. So uh, it is 2 p.m. My butterbeer is almost gone. Just kidding, it actually wasn't butter beer, it was just Coca-Cola. I should be banned. So, um, have I read a lot? Mostly I've just been scrolling the interwebs and watching YouTube um, and watching Vampire Diaries. <laughs> I should be banned from that also. Okay. ASMR anyone? But I am on page 45. It is pretty good so far um, already. I can tell you right now, like the racing aspect, because this actually is about a race car driver and his relationship with his dog and his family and things like that. It hasn't gotten to a point where they introduced the issue yet. So I still have to find out what goes wrong, but I can already tell you that all the race car stuff is so boring to me that I was just, I've been kind of skimming those parts because like it just it isn't interesting, you know? But of course, that's just me. I'm just not super interested in like cars and half of the stuff they talk about, like I just don't understand it because I've never raced a car before. But the main character is actually Enzo. So it's the dog. The whole book is about the dog's point of view on life and on everything. And it's super, super cool. It's kind of like a cute way of seeing life. I'm excited to see like the issue that comes up and how the dog perceives it. So it is six o'clock PM now. <sighs> my hair, oh my gosh. I'm about 40% of the way through the book. I'm on chapter 26. And as you can see, I've tabbed the crap out of this book because holy heck, you guys, there are tons of incredible quotes in this book. Sometimes I legitimately can convince myself that I'm reading a self-help book because honestly, this dog has some pretty dang good things to say about humans. <laughs> this book actually talks about really heavy things like cancer and affairs and others, but it's all from a dog's point of view. So therefore, you have limited information about these things. So it's kind of cool to see things like that from a dog's point of view and to see how dogs could potentially view us and our lifestyles. It's actually super eye-opening and I'm very much enjoying it so far. It's 11 p.m. right now. Um, I'm gonna stop reading this book for tonight. I'm pretty far in. I would say like 60-70% of the way through. So much happened in these past couple chapters. I can't really talk about it because it's spoilery, but something huge happens. So the owner's name is Denny, or Dennis, they call him both, and he actually ends up getting arrested for something. It is so hard to read about because you feel so bad for him. He got wrapped up in this whole situation and it's filled with lies and manipulation and it's just, it's a terrible situation right now. The way that Enzo the dog views it all is so innocent yet 
super heartfelt and really deep. It's just super cool because there's a lot of connections between the race car and the racetrack and life in general. So I really very much enjoyed that aspect of the book and how even though it is about racing cars, it also can relate to anybody's everyday life. So I thought that was really cool. It just kind of keeps me more in the story and more connected with the characters. So that was a pleasant surprise. I will finish it tomorrow. That's my plan, even though I'm gonna be watching Vampire Diaries, okay? I'll find time to read, I promise. It's 1 a.m. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to read anymore, but um, yeah, your girl lied and I'm sorry about that, but uh, I finished <laughs> The Art of Racing in the Rain. It is a five-star book for me. I love it. I'm in love with it. It's so good. Anyway, um, more information tomorrow or when I see the movie. Okay, anyway, I'm tired. Good night. All right, guys, it is the 9th of August. It is Friday and I'm going to be seeing the movie The Art of Racing in the Rain with my aunt today. I love seeing the differences between the movies and the books. There's a lot in the book. Um, I forget what the movie is rated, if it's PG or if it's PG-13, because there's a lot of things that they could get away with putting in the movie if it was PG-13. But for some reason, I feel like they made it PG. But I'm very excited. I really enjoyed the book overall. You guys know that already. I will hit you guys up again in a few hours. <laughs> guys. So the movie, I found out that it is rated PG, so it's not PG-13. So they actually took out and changed a little bit of the story. But some of the lines in the movie literally were exactly the same as they're said in the book. But holy cow. <laughs> that movie, it made me cry. I'm I loved it. It was super good. Um definitely enjoyed the book more, but that's normal. They changed the reason why he was arrested though. Like I was saying earlier in the video how I was wondering how much they would keep in it if it is PG only because the reason he is arrested sorry i don't want to spoil anything it's pretty heavy and it's pretty scandalous i guess the reason why he's arrested and it's he didn't even do it but they actually changed that in order to make it pg which i thought was actually a very good choice on their part because they can reach more audiences and oh my gosh just the actors they did such a good job in the movie and overall Book was better, but movie was super good also. So yeah, that's like it for this vlog. If you guys ended up reading the book or watching the movie, please comment down below and we can talk about it some more. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please be safe, make good choices, and I will see you next time. Bye!